Legendary Bee? Um, what, well, I guess the, I wanted to, sh to see, I mean, it'd be easier to like make a documentary about violence and true violence and just talk about it. So I wanted to see, to dramatize it in a way that was, how can you take like this really good kid at the beginning of the story and see what, how society and his circumstances can force even a good kid to make bad decisions. And at the end of it, um, you know, addressing the cycle of, of violence and whether or not it's explicitly stated, you know, I was definitely thinking in my mind that here's, um, you know, themes where it addresses a cycle. Poverty is intertwined with the cycle of violence in a way that's where, where, you know, Brandon's character doesn't have access to a lot of things and emotionally he's gonna do things differently without, you know, um, people around to help guide him. And when you're getting, you know, advice from like his uncle Marlon, who's basically this false sage that's like, here, you're in a doggy dog world, either dominate or be dominated. Um, and it's a sad truth, but it's still like a truth to many people um, in certain circumstances. So um, that's where I, I guess I made, I wanted to see, to see how far you could push a kid like that um, to basically see his breaking point and if, and uh, essentially how to, how to, how, you know, because his, ultimately he, it's a false victory when he gets the shoes, because he, he gets the shoes and loses everything. He loses his friends and, and has to deal with that. Um, so I in no way wanted to, you know, really I wanted to, to try to sh make something, show something by the end of the movie where it's like, this is the, this is how you end the cycle of violence. Um, you know, Jay, the, the young kid, uh, probably makes the manliest decision by not, you know, handing over the gun to Flacco. Um, and he's like the youngest, he's like seven. Uh, so. Legendary.